I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. Right now we're sitting down with Jennifer Clemens who is one of two Teachers of the Year from the Sacramento City Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, congratulations on being named a Teacher of the Year. Thank you. How exciting is that? I'm very excited. What does that mean to you? I just feel honored to be chosen. Um, I know there's a lot of really good teachers out there um, and I just really feel proud to represent Sac City Unified School District. Um, I'm Bottom line is I'm excited to be a teacher and it's just kind of nice to have that recognition. I love my job and it's nice to be recognized for something that I really care a lot about. So tell us about you know where you teach and what you teach. Tell us about your school. So I teach at Health Professions High School which is in the Northwest Land Park area. Um, it's a small school so we have a really small community with a small number of students and small staff. Um, it's a healthcare theme, but it's not just aimed at students who are necessarily going to go directly into the healthcare field. It's also college prep for students who are um, going to pursue um, anything that, you know, post secondary education. Um, most of our students are interested in healthcare, but some of them are looking into other things. So I just like the fact that it's still is small, close knit. We're like a family at Health Professions, and I love that about our school. What's it like in that type of a school environment where it's a different, where there's a central focus. I mean, not, like you say, not everybody will go into health professions, but having that, that pathway there, what does that do to the students? I think it, it ties everything in so that we integrate healthcare into all of their classes, so they still learn math and English and history, but they learn some of the uh, concepts through the lens of healthcare. And so it makes it more real world to the student, you know, in, in all of their classes. I teach the medical science class, so Obviously, it fits into my class, but I like that it goes throughout all of the school, and it really also helps the students feel like they belong to our school. Um, and of course, I think it also prepares them better for once they mm -hmm. go to college. We do a lot of group work, teamwork kind of stuff, uh, projects that they have to do to prepare them, presentations. They always come back and tell us that they learned a lot about presenting and working in teams, you know, so I feel like what we do, what we're able to do with that small school environment and that themed environment is to better prepare them for things that apply to whatever they you know, go out and do. So explain a little bit about the class that you do teach and, and what it entails. Okay, so I teach all of the ninth grade medical science class, which everybody says, what's medical science? And I said the same thing when I got the job. I don't really know. It didn't <laughs> exist before I started teaching it. So um, they take a medical science class ninth through 12th grade every single year. Mm -hmm. And the topics and subjects change throughout the year. Um, but for ninth grade, it's uh, mostly anatomy, physiology. It's a basic kind of introduction to healthcare. We teach them a little bit about careers, medical terminology, um, just get them kind of engaged and excited about the healthcare field and then they go on to the other grade levels and learn other specific topics. But um, it's really kind of fun because I feel like everyone has an inherent curiosity about how the body works, especially ninth graders. And so I feel like I can tap into that even if they're not interested in healthcare per se. Um, I just want them to learn about their own body so that they can take care of themselves, family members. You know, it's important, I think, to know about just basic anatomy at least. Um, and then I also teach a 11th and 12th grade um, Sac City College class. It's, it's Sac City College credit and it's that actual class but I teach it on our high school campus to our high school students so they get credit for that too. I want to get to the back to that in a minute but for, for now I want to focus on the, uh, the medical science class that, that you teach and how there's really an emphasis now on, on the STEM classes, mm -hmm. science, technology. And how does that make you feel knowing that there, we're seeing a, a bigger focus on that and, and what do you think that means for the student? I mean, of course, I think that's great that people are acknowledging the importance and also the fact that anybody can go into that field, you know, um, and I think it's an important to stress the fact that, again, even if they're not going into healthcare, it's still something worth learning for their own knowledge, um, for their own, you know, families, for their own health, their own communities. Um, and we also really do try to encourage them to spread that to their communities. Um, so it is also sort of a, a, a social change that we're looking for as well in, in our, you know, the community where they live. So you're also teaching um, college level courses at a high school. Mm -hmm. What's that like? It's interesting because it's students that I had as ninth grade freshmen and then I have them as juniors and seniors so I see them grow which is really neat. And it's the same subject but just higher level, faster paced and so um, 
it's kind of cool to see that shift and to be able to teach them that, get them the credit for college, and then they go off into college. And like I said, a lot of them come back and talk to us and tell us, you know, that class really helped prepare me or whatever the case is. I try and teach them embed study skills into that class because I know they're about to go into college and need those skills no matter what classes they end up taking. So I try and really prepare them for college, use that class as a way of sort of preparing them for college. So explain the value of a student in high school taking college level courses and, and graduating with those units. Um, well, it helps with yeah. in terms of time and money, money you know, spent in college because they've already got some classes out of the way. It counts towards their on their it's on their college transcript, um, and of course, like I said, learning the skills that it's going to take, learning what they're getting into. The class I teach is it's a pretty hard class, and our students struggle with it. But I always say, you know, at least it's one class in high school versus five college level classes in college and you're you know you're paying for it all and you're struggling to you know so I like that it's sort of a taste of what they're going to be getting into so that has value in and of itself and of course it looks good when they apply to colleges on their transcript have already taken classes. Plus uh, imagine the boost to their self-confidence knowing that they're you know, in high school but they're able oh, to yeah. handle college courses. Oh yeah and a lot of them take not just my class but they have other college classes that they take off campus so they're, a lot of them just hit the ground running and they just take all their, you know, they get a lot out of the way and it's really cool to see them be able to do that. Especially since I remember you when you were a freshman and you know, and now here you are doing all these college classes. Uh, that's that's got to be gratifying. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been a teacher? A teacher for, this will be my 10th year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I taught for a year in Texas and then nine years here. Okay, so in that amount of time, um, what kind of big changes have you seen in education just in that 10-year window? Well, <laughs> no child left behind, coming, mm -hmm. going. Yeah. Um, I was actually even just mentioning in the other interview, I mean, you see a lot of um, like ideas pop up, and some of them are really good ideas, but they might not work because how they're implemented, you know, but the idea is still there. So I've tried to pull, you know, the things that I know I can use and I can implement in my classroom, and if it works, I keep it and I kind of almost do my own thing in that sense where I try and get the positives out of all the different things that come and go and I just look at my curriculum and how I can add it and make my curriculum stronger um, and it's interesting to see things kind of come and go but you just have to remember like my, your goal is to teach your students and to do that in the best way that you can with whatever you know resources you have available. And now with the Common Core it sounds like the type of students you have and the type of subject matter you have already lends itself to that hands-on uh, project-based learning. Right, and it's almost kind of a joke in the sense that it's like, well, it's it's common sense, it's good teaching, which I like about Common Core is mm -hmm. that, you know, it does make sense to teach skills and reading in all of their classes and writing in all of their classes, and it helps with, you know, just integrating the concepts um, so the student really understands that it isn't an isolated kind of thing. So. Um, yeah, that's kind of been fun to see that shift. It feels like it's a more positive change now. Mm. And that change kind of forces you to, to go at your teaching with different approaches too, of how you're delivering content and what you're doing. And right, it makes you be more conscious and aware of what you're doing. I guess, like I said, to some extent it is common sense, it's good teaching, but it's nice to know that the focus now is on skills, more soft skills, which makes it a little fuzzy, I guess. It's not just learn this standard and get this question right, so that maybe is uncomfortable for people, but what's cool about it is you can apply it, you know, that skill can be applied everywhere, and it's easier as a teacher to implement it because if it's a skill, you should be able to do it no matter what the subject happens to be, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like almost more freedom in that sense as a teacher to be able to teach with Common Core. Now, had you always wanted to be a teacher? No, I always wanted to be a doctor, like all of my students, which uh -huh. is why I can relate to them since mm -hmm. I was in kindergarten, all through college, actually. And after my third year of college, I was getting ready to apply to medical school. I was going to take the MCAS. I'd done all the prereqs, everything. And then I joined a program where I got to shadow doctors and see what the job entailed. And my inner world of what doctor meant was not what it actually was. Like actually visualizing myself doing uh -huh. <laughs> what they do is kind of like, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm a pretty emotional person. Can I handle a patient dying? I, so I started thinking about those things and realizing, nope, don't want to do that. <laughs> but I had always thought about teaching in the back of my mind. So I thought, I'll just try it and see. And then this job that 
I got at health professions, it appealed to me because it was like, man, if somebody had shown me in high school what it meant to be a doctor, maybe I would have realized earlier on. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's great that I'm doing this for them. And I always tell them, even if you decide you don't want to go into healthcare, that's fine. That's valuable in and of itself. In my mind, I'm thinking I wish somebody would have done that for me. Because they always ask me, well, why weren't you a doctor? You're so smart. You get that. I'm like, right, but it's not a, I'm not happy as a doctor. And I love being a teacher. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I totally enjoy it. I don't regret, you know, not going into the healthcare field. I'm really glad that my path took me to where I am because I really am happy with my job. And now here you are as a, yes. a teacher of the year. <laughs> Apparently I'm kind of successful at it too. It kind of feels good. It kind of worked out, didn't it? <laughs> it did. Uh, well, thank you for your time. We we're, we're enjoyed speaking with you. We've been speaking with Jennifer Clemens, who is one of two teachers of the year for 2015 for the Sacramento City School Unified, Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.